Have you ever had those times where you really want to be that person where you want to reach your goals of eating healthy or getting things done and being productive and organized and you just want to have everything together? Yeah, me too. And this book, Atomic Habits, is going to help with that. Guys, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who f keeps YouTubing how to be more productive videos or how to get stuff done, how to be organized, and just trying to get out of the spiral of procrastinating and actually doing stuff in life. One of the best books that I've ever read that helps and gives me so much clarity on how to build sustainable habits is the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book has helped me so much in my journey, realizing that I can't set insanely high goals, like, hey, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, and then it's just like, sustainably, I don't wanna wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning every single day, and I also just want to slowly, and if you do wanna wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, then it's gonna be hard to just randomly off the bat, you start waking up at eight o'clock every morning and then you're like, hey, I'm gonna wake up at five today and it doesn't happen. That's because you're setting too high of a goal for yourself for it to be reachable. The book Atomic Habits helps break down every single step on how to build consistent habits that actually work. The bigger question whenever you start creating your habits is what identity will this form? Whatever habit you wanna start building into your schedule, like you wanna start drinking more water, you wanna start making your bed in the morning, you want to start reading your devotions daily, those types of habits, to be created, they'll start forming an identity. Like if you read your devotions every day, then you are a person that's very close to God or wants to be very close to God. And if you're a person that drinks water every day, then you are you care about your body, you're trying to be healthy. Whenever you start reading, you become a reader, a person who's interested in books. So then whenever people look, come up to you like, oh yeah, I know you like books, so, and they randomly talk to you about book stuff, that's because you're known to be a reader, because you consistently read. So basically, the bigger question is, what identity do you want to become? Or what's the type of person that you want to become? After reading this book, I realized that really small wins or small goals really help me to be more motivated whenever I'm doing something. Like whenever I finish a Spanish lesson and I did a pretty good job, it makes me feel very proud of myself. Like, hey, I wanna keep doing Spanish. But whenever it's like an overbearing type work thing, like whenever I have to do homework and sometimes it's just like, ugh, or I have to do a really hard English class and it's like, I don't really wanna do it then making small goals for myself helps me to feel more motivated. Like if you have a 500 word essay and you've made it to, let's say 150 words, you're like, I have a pretty good start in this. I should keep going or I'm on a roll. If you get to 250 words, you're like, yes, I'm only halfway. I'm halfway there. I'm almost done. That's the way it is in real life. You need to be setting yourself up for tiny wins that'll keep motivating you to do stuff. I'm touching on principles that are already in the Atomic Habits book. If you want more in-depth discussion and explanation on how to form daily habits, this is a book you should definitely check out. I want you guys to be able to achieve your goals and feel motivated to do things that you never thought you would do. Go beyond your limits. It is so worth it in the end. I don't want other people to fail. I want you guys to succeed at not falling into binge eating, a TV addiction, or a social media addiction like scrolling on TikTok or Instagram. I don't want you guys to keep forming those bad habits that really take your time away from, from what's really important to you. Guys, just remember, I don't know everything. I'm just passing along the information that's helped me so it can help you guys or pass it on to somebody else that you think could use it. If you guys want more informational tips about faith, hit the subscribe button to join the fam.